I am babushka. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Hello again. Um, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be about my favorite tools. I was just looking to the side to actually make sure that I had everything that I needed. Um, so I'm gonna run through that. But first, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel so far. You might look at my numbers and you might say, well, that's not a lot of people, or, you know, you, you might feel like it's not something to be excited about, but I'm honestly, I'm, I'm just blown away. I just want to say thank you um, to the people who have left comments as well, who have liked my video, who may have shared my video as well, who have said lovely things. I got this comment, I'm just gonna try and put it there. And um, it made my day because my partner literally was like, what is the point? Like, what are you trying to do? And literally this comment is, is what I'm trying to do. Like help people and see if there's somebody out there that might just give their hair a second chance. So thank you so, so, so much. I can't thank you guys enough for subscribing, liking and engaging with my content. So thank you. Oh, also another thing is I made this cardigan. I love making things and I made this and I want you guys to let me know what you think. Um, I also made the grey cardigan I was wearing in my products I like video. It's one of the weird things I do when I'm like deep conditioning. I just like to crochet and I like to knit and this is a crochet. As you can see it's homemade because like why, <laughs> why is there thread sticking out? Anyway, the reason you guys are here, the tools that I use on my hair that I feel have made a difference over the years. And the first one is obviously going to be an Afro pick. I didn't even have to bring this from this basket. Like I literally used this right before I started this video. I know that sometimes they get a bit of a bad rep uh, because people say that they're not good. Um, can we just casually trying to scratch my hair? I find that it really does help with the shape of my hair, especially I feel like us type four, we really do have to shape our hair to make it look, you know, cute. I love Afro picks. There's something that I use on my hair. I feel like the shape of my hair and the way my hair looks before and after using an afro pick, you can definitely tell when I've used one. Also, I just wanted to say I haven't actually dyed my hair. This is just like temporary hair color. I got it from Super Drugs. I think it's Super Drugs. Super Drug, I think it's the one from Carl's. It's really good. Actually lasts a while because this, believe it or not, this wash and go is actually 10 days old. Okay, so my wash and goes last a while like i have to make myself wash my hair especially if i don't exercise which i haven't done in the last week if you want to know how i do my wash and go i do have a video on it anyway if you want to check it out um the next thing is uh I'm bringing them up there's quite a few of them it's scrunchies i love scrunchies i use them to put my hair up but again i keep plugging this video but because i went through so much it's nearly 20 minutes that video and i went through a lot and you will see at some point probably around the 15 minute mark i use scrunchies to stretch and shape in my afro you know when you do a wash and go your curls won't always dry how you want them to dry and i use scrunchies and i will insert a wonderful photo of myself <laughs> I look amazing in that photo, don't I? Uh, I use these to shape and stretch and just style my afro and it takes the stress out of doing it in the morning and trying to figure that out. Once I set my afro with these guys, I'm good to go. Get you some scrunchies, they're so affordable and they will change your hair game. The next item uh, that I've got is this. Does anybody remember this logo? Because this is an OG natural hair product. So please let me know if you recognize this already. This is the Diva, I think it's the Diva attachable hood. Now mine looks a bit gross because I bought mine in 2016. Yes, 2016. So mine is eight years old. Wait, no. Oh, no. Four, two, <laughs> it's giving set eight maths. Six years, I've had mine for six years. Why did that take me so long? It's the pressure, it's the pressure of the camera. Anyway, it has a, a little tube and you attach that to your hand dryer and then you put the hood on your head and it helps 
dry your hair and I like using this because I've said this in previous videos my hair doesn't look right if I don't dry it to the bone my hair needs to be bone dry in order for me to style it properly and for it to have longevity as well and using this helps because I think I can be a bit more flexible when I use this as opposed to the next item I'm about to show I feel like people have been skeptical about it because people are like you know does it not slide off your hoodie dry because I know some of them have been known to but I've literally had this for six years I finally did the math and like I don't know what they use to make this but it has this non-slip gosh will it ever blooming focus it has this non-slip attachment to it and this elastic I mean touch wood but it, it, it just it's just stayed the same like it still fits on my hand dryer quite nicely so very very pleased with that I'll just mention my hand dryer again I've had this since 2014 so that's six that's eight years <sighs> guys I'm really bad at maths like I'm sorry I'm sorry I saw another youtuber she had this long forcey hair and I was like obsessed and in my head I was like oh my god when am I going to have that hair length it's called the Koku brand and she used it to blow dry her hair and in my head I was like if she uses it and her hair is long then my hair will grow to the same length as hers that's not how hair works and I know that now obviously but it is actually a decent dry light it's lasted me donkeys like eight years not bad the next thing i have to reach over to this side because it wouldn't fit is this can you see so this is a desk top hooded dryer and it's portable you it, it folds but it kind of like extends up and i've had this baby for a year and a half now if i want to dry my hair and i want to really make sure that the shape is just I'll use that because when I use this I have to sort of squash my hair into it whereas this allows my hair to dry in a certain shape did I say desktop hooded dry earlier I did didn't I if I dry my hair with the tabletop hooded dryer it's better but it's slower so there's a trade-off I, I kind of swap between the two I will say this though this is like 14 pounds this is nearly 80 pounds so you know i want to show something that's not at the top at the moment and these are detanglers these are the only two things i used to detangle my hair i used to be a white tooth comb warrior like i used to wear the wear where's my hair today do you know what i haven't had hot chocolate i want hot chocolate and i told myself if i filmed this video i'd make myself a nice cup of hot chocolate <laughs> Now, I've been natural all my life, I've never relaxed my hair, so I've always had to use a specific type of detangler and wide tooth combs, like I used to use the wooden ones from back in the day. I just don't think that they do what I need them to do any longer, so I don't use them at all. I love using this as my detangler. You've seen this before, you've probably seen those Instagram ads, you've probably seen this on Amazon. This detangler, uh, I really, really like it. I use it when my hair is wet in the shower. And the great thing about this is I feel like you don't need to section your hair as thinly. When I first got this, it had like a plastic thing on the back. Chuck that, or what's the point of that? There's no need, I want the flexibility, obvi. Um, But the thing that I think is really important with this guy is that you need to use big enough sections. So like, try it on bigger sections because there's some people that don't like this. It used to slip and it used to catch, but it's because I wasn't putting enough hair in into it. This actually wants resistance. So really, really like this. It cut down my detangling time. I don't finger detangle anymore. I used to finger detangle and I've stopped. I don't feel the need for it. It doesn't make any difference to the health of my hair. And that is because I'm using this now as my detangler. The other detangler I like using is a YouTube OG. This is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. No, this isn't the knockoff that you can get on Amazon now. This is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. The only problem is I can't prove it because the name rubbed out but literally i bought this in 2016 when felicia leatherwood came out with it it took ages to get to the uk i was so stoked when i got it because it just changed the detangling game and again it's got that same sort of like flexibility it's not as flexible 
as this one so I will say that I use this one when my hair is damp and when I'm outside of the shower and I use this when I am in the shower and my hair is wet I've tried them in both scenarios and I feel like this one works better in the shower this one works better outside of the shower so if you can get the knockoff on Amazon get the knockoff the knockoff wasn't available when I got it because I've been doing this natural hair stuff for like god knows how long at this point now get one of the other or get both who knows sounds like I'm rushing this video so I can go and have my hot chocolate right the next thing is some hair cutting shares i can hear the sound of all the cosmetologists all the hair specialists groaning and sighing and rolling their eyes because they know that i cut my own hair but i do buy my own hair cutting shares from amazon and i blow out my hair and then i cut it and, and people are gonna say look your hair is uneven it's not doing what it needs to do but this is good enough for me i'm happy with my hair health i can tell when my hair needs a trim if anybody wants a video by the way on like signs on you know whether you need to cut your hair or things that your hair will tell you when you know something's not quite right let me know because i've been there i've I've done like two big chops so I, I know I've made mistakes and I'm here now because I have all that knowledge of like how many years I've been doing this and that's why I kind of want to let other people know that it's okay you can still give your hair another go if you if your hair isn't where you need it to be try again because when you figure it out it's just so nice when you figure out your hair and you know what you're doing and it's just smooth but it's hard to get and i appreciate that sorry i deviated but yes i trim my hair every three months so i replace this every six months because i know that scissors do go blunt get some nice sharp scissors don't get blunt scissors please okay and cut your hair because you're going to do more damage i'm sure people have already covered this already anyway the next tool is a satin scarf and like who doesn't have a satin scarf with this pattern that's why i chose this this is the mother load when you need to go to bed you put it on your head that's how everybody knows it's me i am babushka minushka do you have comment your husband was taken to the gulag i mean if you're not sleeping with one what are you even doing what are you even doing if i don't wear this to sleep and i try and style my hair in the morning it's 10 times harder than if i just put in a satin scarf just shake my hair out just fluff it out for a bit and then pop out the door so use this if you're lazy and you want to preserve your hair i said that quite aggressively sorry the next thing on my list has fallen to the bottom of the basket hair clips i use these clips to section my hair when i'm washing it and i section my hair into four and I use four of these and it makes things very easy especially like if you're if you have a section and then you section that section and then you use the clip to clip it up whilst you you know detangling great I use these as well but I don't tend to use them when I section now see what I use these for is if I'm blow, blowing out my hair I use this to kind of like weigh it down or like put it by my root to, to really demarcate where I've blown out another thing I do as well is if I'm using my tabletop hooded dryer I will sometimes clip my roots to so that when it's drying my roots are really stretched and it really does add a little Jenny San Juan <laughs> I make myself laugh a little Jenny San Juan to my wash and go but that's like literally if I'm going somewhere and I'm really trying to impress everybody and I'm really pulling all the stops out next is more of like a hair drying tool it's my microfiber towel and I love to use this to dry my hair before styling and it has this little elastic and it has a button and the idea is that you twist it on yourself and you uh, attach it on and it stays secure it's self-explanatory i got it from wilco for 99p and i haven't seen it since so but i'm sure there's something similar like because it's the internet of course there's something similar like literally just google microfiber towel hood thing and you will find it will be there next is a tool i mean they're all tools but this is my this is what i use to blow dry my hair i do not have the dexterity to have a comb and then do you know you know what I'm talking about? when you like have i don't like that i once bought 
the knockoff one that was like 18 pounds as opposed to this being is this 40 or 60 40 or 60 pounds i'll put it in the video when i'm editing um but it would spark <laughs> whenever i changed the temperature <laughs> And I thought one of these days this is gonna catch on fire so I need to just put this in the electrical waste bin and get me a proper one that's actually been pat tested. As a thick curly haired person this has saved me. People rave about this because it does the job. It is fantastic at blowing out hair. I don't know what else to say. It just does what it needs to be done. If you've got really thick hair, like if your hair is high density, thick strands, that's what you need. Because you need that tension and this with the bristles and the everything gives you that tension. So it's fantastic. We're getting towards the end now. You'll be happy to hear. I'm hoping this video won't be too long. I say that every time and then they are. Uh, this is a curling wand. In my previous video when I was talking about my favorite products, I had my hair in a curly wand set and this is what I used. So it's really good. Safety is important. Please, please do not curl your hair without a heat protecting glove. Why are you burning your hand for your hair? Like it's not that deep, just wear the glove. The final thing, I don't know why I'm ending on this, to be honest. <laughs> it's probably not very natural hair friendly, um, but it is my hair straightener. And I was talking about hair straighteners that tell you the degree. And this one is fantastic because it will literally tell you how many degrees it, it's on. And it also has like a little gauge that says if it's for like if your hair is healthy use this temperature if your hair is damaged use this temperature and so it, it allows you to say okay i know that when i'm you know straighten my hair on 180 it didn't quite do the trick so let me try 200 oh 200 is good enough well let me try 210 oh 210 is too much it's too it's too silky it's too straight i don't really like that i'm gonna stick with 200 so not only do you have a metric in which you can measure what you're actually doing but it also the moment you see that number you know like okay i shouldn't just bump this all the way to the top because the top is 230 and the hair will burn at 230 like that's just a fact okay so i really recommend having a hair straightener that tells you exactly what degree you are on because uh, i've had heat damage multiple times and it is painful when you have to cut your hair that you've spent time nurturing and growing so just be mindful one more thing i want to mention but it's in my bathroom and it's stuck to my wall and i've given enough hints i'm sure you guys already know what i'm gonna say a shower mirror please 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 get a shower mirror whenever i'm staying at somebody else's and i have to wash my hair and i don't have my shower mirror like my heart is just sad like being able to see being able to actually know what you're doing not just going off touch is so important please get a shower mirror i don't even know if if people care enough to actually like me link things like should i link things that i i have so that people can buy them <laughs> but if you just go shower mirror suction on amazon or wherever you like to get your goods and your services you will find a shower mirror get one right now you're not doing your hair right you're never going to do your hair justice if you don't have a shower mirror i'm not compromising on it okay and that's everything thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for watching my other videos and if you like my content um it really does help me a lot if you like and subscribe and share my videos and comment so you don't have to do all of those like literally if you do one I will be so grateful so thank you so much for watching my videos i hope you all have a lovely day wherever you are take care bye